We heard from the president and other American officials that intelligence came together over the last couple of weeks that allowed them to get a sense of where Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of the Islamic State, uh, was. And then on Thursday, they had some specific actionable intelligence that allowed them to develop uh, really the specific plans of the operation that they launched on Saturday. The president gave the go-ahead Saturday morning for that operation before leaving Camp David to go play golf, and then he monitored it. Uh, live uh, from the situation room Saturday afternoon, uh, Eastern Time. The president uh, did uh, specifically green light that, uh, reminiscent in a way of the operation that killed Osama bin Laden back in 2011, when President Obama also green lit that operation directly and was involved in some of the planning um, that went into that. Um, but also, this is one where the president uh, was personally invested. He's been talking about getting um, this Islamic State leader um, for years now. We killed ISIS leader al-Baghdadi. He's dead. He's dead as a doornail. <laughs> and he didn't die bravely either, I will tell you that. This does come at what had been a, a really one of the lowest points of President Trump's administration so far in the midst of an impeachment probe and as he faced bipartisan condemnation for his policies for pulling U.S. troops mostly out of Syria, clearing the way for that Turkish incursion um, against formerly uh, uh, allied uh, Kurdish fighters uh, in the fight against the Islamic State. So this is the sort of thing that um, certainly a big PR victory for the president as well as an operational victory um, for him as well, success there. But uh, it's the sort of thing that the president will almost certainly use on the campaign trail going forward. It certainly is a uh, foreign policy credential that he'll be able to use on the, uh, uh, on the stump as he se seeks re-election. The president has already faced uh, criticism from those on Capitol Hill for not fully re reading members of Congress on significant foreign policy decisions, going back to his uh, decision with pull U.S. troops out of Syria uh, just a couple of weeks ago. That led to bipartisan outcry. So here's an indication of where the president had an opportunity for to just provide even a, just a couple of hours heads up to sort of the gang of eight, the big uh, sort of senior lawmakers on Capitol Hill. It would have engendered certainly a good bit of goodwill uh, for him, but also um, would have been in line with some past practice. In this case, it's not clear he was legally required to give that notification because that requirement only extends to covert action. This wasn't necessarily sort of t taking all those boxes that would have required notification of the Gang of Eight, uh, but providing uh, notification of Russia in advance does fit into an existing sort of narrative around the president that he is strengthening his ties between the United States and Russia uh, at the expense of allies um, in the region and, 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 and overseas more broadly. Uh, that at the same time, though, there was a credible need to uh, loop in Russia and, and Turkey and other American ally, or allies and foes in the region even because this operation had to be launched across their territory where they do have substantial military presences. This operation only took place because of the institutions that he has so often denigrated at the intelligence community, the foreign policy establishment. They worked, they did their jobs, they presented him with actionable intelligence and he took that action taking a major foreign terrorist off the battle, battlefield. Uh, that said, um, you know, the, you know, and also with U.S. troops in the region that he wants to take back into the United States. So both on both of those counts, we'll see if that affects the president's thinking or not. Um, certainly this is a victory for the president and the president's strategy to a certain extent, but also some of it happened despite his rhetoric and despite uh, the actions that he has taken as well. So will, that, the, will the president alter course? It seems unlikely, but that is one of the things that we'll be following in the days and weeks ahead.